how young our country was. In comparison to the countries of the world, America is a fairly young country, a new idea, an adolescent as it were, especially right now. <laughs> I think we are stuck in a state of complete adolescence trying to figure out who we are, but that is to be expected when you grow. When you think about Nigeria on your 63rd uh, anniversary as a nation, you are even younger still. My mind goes back to America when it was 63 years old and you would be shocked to have seen what America was like at 63. No benefits, no systems, no drainage, no sewers, few hospitals, uh, dirt roads, insufficient uh, finances, turmoil, trial, internal test trials and corruptions. 63 years old, it takes a long time. Greatness does not come like a microwave oven. Greatness does not come easily or quickly like social media. You punch a button and you get a result. Greatness comes over time and generations and it takes generations for the full impact of greatness to come through. Through many trials and tribulations and tests, uh, many, 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 many people shed blood. Uh, in America to bring about our different days of independence because we didn't get independence on the same day. And we're still trying to sort out independence because everybody's independence cannot be marked by one particular moment. Independence is a process. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The birth of a woman, the birth of a baby through a woman proves that freedom is a bloody business. When I was a little boy watching television and they would show birth on television, the baby came out. That baby must have been three months old. It was pretty and it was clean and it was neat and his hair was swept back and it was smelling all good and everything. When I saw a real birth, it is not like that at all. The baby is not, well, it's pretty to the mama. I don't know whether y'all have them over here, but we have these babies that test your faith. You know, the parent shows you the baby and you're trying to say something nice and you don't want to say something that's insulting. So this is what I do. I say, oh, <laughs> oh, it needs something. <laughs> Which means sometimes I'm not sure what he is. <laughs> <laughs> but in the, in the birthing process, in the pr process of birthing a baby, the baby comes through all types of bodily fluids and blood and gal and has to be clean because in order to be free from the umbilical cord from which it has survived for nine months, it has to be cut and it is a bloody business from the labor ward of a birthing room of a woman having a child to the bleeding side of our savior the blood of jesus itself testifies that true freedom is a bloody business i heard him say father if it be thy will pass this bitter cup from me if there is another way that i can establish a nation without going to a cross let me do it if i can wear a crown and not have a cross let me do it and then he says not my will but thine be done because the truth of the matter is wherever you see a crown there is a cross do not deceive yourself into thinking that somebody just received it arbitrarily because they wanted it or they had strong willpower there is a suffering there is a bleeding there is a price to pay in order for you to get your next promotion you don't just get promotions because you dance. You don't just get promotions because you come to church. You get promotions because your faith has tried and it's been tested and you've endured suffering and you've cried unto the Lord. And finally, in his 
time in his providence in his purpose he brings you completely out the bible said after you have suffered a while i will establish you and make you perfect so god says i didn't promise to make you perfect the moment you prayed i'll let you suffer a while i'll let you go through the first and second and third trimester before i give you what i'm going to give you but you know it's coming when you walk with god there is an indicator inside of your spirit that even though the dream has not manifested yet you know it's coming because you feel it kicking inside of you over the last three days four days there have been moments that i have seen babies leap in the wombs of people in this room ideas and dreams and praise and adoration prostrate on the floor praising god as god let the kick come to remind you that i'm still there and i'm still in you somebody shout i'm still here I've had some tough times and dark days, but I am still here. I've cried myself to sleep, but I am still here. I've had to hold a pillow to get to bed, but I'm still here. I've been forsaken and denied, but I'm still here. I haven't always been able to eat whatever I wanted to eat, but I am still here. I haven't always been able to tell my friends from my enemies, but I'm still here. I've been they not lied on, betrayed, ostracized, but I am still here. That's why you see me praise him. I couldn't praise him like this if I hadn't endured some stuff. The people that you see praising God, some of you look at them and you think they are just emotional, but they're not emotional. They're triumphant. They have been through some stuff that threatened to take them out, but God brought them through by his power and his glory. And when God brings you out of a storm it will make you give him the praise you don't have to have great singers or great dancers or great musicians if you got a great memory that God brought you through something and cut loose something that you were tied to you don't even have to have anybody up front to be able to praise God you can praise him in your car and in your house and in your living room can I get a witness in here is there anybody in the room that knows how to praise God off of your memories, your resume, his testimony, the things he's already done in your life make you praise him and give you the courage to believe that if he did that, he can do this. If he moved this, he can move that. If he healed the other, he can heal this too. If he brought me through Monday, he'll bring me through Thursday. If he brought me through Tuesday, he'll bring me through Friday. I'm starting to get bold about this thing. I'm starting to run up on the devil and say, I wish you would. Because I've seen God do it so many times that I know if he did it before, he'll do it again. I know I'm not by myself. There has to be somebody else in the room that understands that the God we serve is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we may ask or think according to the power that worketh in us and we're not afraid to praise him look funny if you want to but we'll still praise him roll your eyes but we'll still praise him think we're fanatical but we'll still praise him get an attitude but we'll still praise him resent us but we'll still praise him gossip about us but we'll still praise him because we've already been through enough that we're not going to be bound by your opinion or bound by your attitude freedom is a bloody business and if i have to break out i'm gonna break out in a praise if i'm the only one on my row if i'm the only one in the balcony if i'm the only one on the rooftop if i'm the only one on the mountain when i get ready to act Oh, look at your neighbor and say, I got enough Holy Ghost to praise him by myself. If you don't praise him, I can praise him on my own. If you don't glorify him, I can glorify him on my own. Because when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. When I look back over my shoulder and remember where he brought me from, my soul cries out how I got over. My soul looks back and wonders. 
power I got over. 